Uganda Bureau of Statistics shows that Uganda's monthly headline inflation for September 2018 increased, contributing to a rise in consumer goods such as fuel. This is according to the Consumer Price Index report. This measures the price of movements in a basket of goods and services over a given period of time. Now addressing journalists at the Bureau offices in Kampala, your boss principal statistician Vincent Insuga noted that inflation increased as a result of increasing the price of imported fuel prices and the depreciation of the shilling. The report indicates that monthly energy, fuel and utilities registered 0.1% rise in September 2018 from an earlier drop of 1.1% recorded in August 2018 due to an increase in prices of solid fuels like diesel, petrol and paraffin. Petrol diesel okay. prices are, go are going up and by the cost are going up even in this month it went up. The increase in the price of imported fuel led to an increase in prices of manufactured goods such as clothing, footwear, and sugar prices. The new inflation of clothing and footwear increased to 7.2% in September 2018 compared to 3.7% that was recorded the previous month. Clothing increased to 6.2% from 2.3%, whereas footwear rose to 11.5% from 10.4%. Things like uh, clothing, whose inflation has contributed to that of inflation to go up. Basically, that's what has been transferred during the month of August, September. However, on an annual basis, headline inflation for a year ending September 2018 slightly decreased to 3.7% compared to 3.8% that was registered during the year ending August 2018. That does not mean that the prices of goods and services have come down. It is just the inflation. They have gone up but at a slow pace. Uh, my director normally gives uh, an explanation of a vehicle traveling from here to Masaka. Uh, you reach somewhere and decelerate a bit. I mean reduce on the speed. If you are at 80, you take it to 70. You have reduced speed but you're still moving ahead. So prices of goods and services have not necessarily come down come down by saying that the inflation numbers have gone down. Now this report was compiled by Rachel Nabisubi for New Vision TV.